All right, here in Florida, lawmakers are expected to approve an abortion ban given even tighter restrictions. CBS News Miami's Trish Christakis is live in Miami with the bill now moving through the second half of this year's state legislative session. Trish, what's the latest with that? Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, as early as this week, lawmakers in Tallahassee are expected to pass this abortion ban at six weeks. Now, as it currently stands, at 15 weeks. Now, those who are against this legislation say that even with these exceptions, this is essentially a outright ban. Now, since pregnancy often goes undetected for six weeks or more. Florida House Speaker Paul Renner is trying to sell the proposal as a compromise because there are some Republicans who want an all-out ban. House Minority Leader and State Rep Driscoll is trying to raise awareness around this bill. At six weeks, we know that this bill effectively is an outright ban on abortion because most women don't even know that they're pregnant at six weeks. And, you know, we have to be, you know, candid about the obvious math of the vote count. We don't have the numbers to stop this bad bill, but you'll see us put up uh, 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 amendments. You'll see us do everything that we can to raise public awareness around the bill. And under the bill, lawmakers say there would be exceptions for abortion, which include saving a woman's life or if rape or incest caused the pregnancy. Now, in order for that to happen, documentation would be required, which includes a medical record or police report, which those against the bill say they fear would not give the woman enough time. And that's all at 15 weeks. Now, this all comes one year after Governor DeSantis signed that 15-week abortion ban into law. Live here in Miami, I'm Trish Krasakis, CBS News, Miami.